This video is brought to you by Poolonomics. Cyanuric acid plays a vital role in most residential pools, especially pools that get plenty of sun exposure throughout the day. So, in this video, we'll take you through everything a pool owner should know when it comes to using cyanuric acid in a pool. Let's start from the top. What is cyanuric acid? Cyanuric acid, often abbreviated to CYA, is a weak acid that helps to protect the free chlorine in your pool from sunlight. It's kind of like sunblock for your sanitizer. If you've ever heard phrases like pool stabilizer, pool conditioner or chlorine stabilizer, know that it's all just cyanuric acid. This powdery substance can be added to your water separately, but many types of chlorine already contain a high amount of cyanuric acid, including most chlorine tablets. Why is cyanuric acid important? Ultraviolet light degrades chlorine very quickly, breaking free chlorine down into smaller components that have no sanitizing power. Because of this, swimming pools with high sun exposure need cyanuric acid to protect or stabilize their chlorine. This includes most outdoor pools and even some indoor pools if they get enough direct sunlight. Without that UV protection, your pool can lose up to 90% of its free chlorine in a matter of hours, leaving your water undersanitized and vulnerable to all sorts of nasty contamination. How does cyanuric acid work? Cyanuric acid seeks out and binds with free chlorine in the water to become stabilized chlorine. The more cyanuric acid you have in the water, the more of your chlorine gets caught up in this process. Stabilized chlorine is different in that it's far more resistant to UV light, meaning it stays in the water and continues to work, whereas free chlorine would usually just break down and burn off. However, this form of chlorine isn't very useful as a sanitizing agent because stabilized chlorine is far weaker than unstabilized chlorine. To solve this, when your free chlorine runs low, cyanuric acid slowly releases chlorine from this bond so it can sanitize the water effectively. It essentially acts as a chlorine reserve, making it available only as needed. What is the ideal cyanuric acid level? The ideal level is where enough of your chlorine has bonded with cyanuric acid to prevent it from breaking down, but not so much that it leaves your water without enough effective sanitizer. For chlorine pools, this range is 30 to 50 parts per million, depending on the level of sun exposure. However, this assumes that you maintain a free chlorine level of around 1 to 3 parts per million. Your cyanuric acid level scales with your chlorine level, so you'll need to increase cyanuric acid when maintaining higher levels of free chlorine. For saltwater pools, the range is a little higher, at 60 to 80 parts per million. This is because a salt pool maintains a much lower sanitizer level due to how chlorine is continuously produced and fed into the water. As a rule of thumb, your free chlorine should account for no less than 7.5% of your cyanuric acid level in a traditional chlorine pool, and no less than 5% in a salt pool. Can you use too much stabilizer? Yes, too much cyanuric acid will overstabilize your chlorine. When too much of your free chlorine is caught up in reserve, meaning it's bound to cyanuric acid, it doesn't leave enough free chlorine to effectively fight off contaminants in the water. While it's true that chlorine bound to cyanuric acid does eventually become regular free chlorine again, the speed at which this happens is significantly slowed down when your stabilizer level is high. This overstabilization can lead to an issue known as chlorine lock, where your chlorine stops working despite being well within the ideal range. In reality, it's just being suppressed by the high concentration of cyanuric acid in your pool. Does cyanuric acid influence other levels? No, chlorine stabilizer only directly impacts chlorine. Even then, your actual free chlorine level will remain unchanged despite being bound to cyanuric acid because test kits include stabilized chlorine as part of your free chlorine reading. With that being said, since chlorine directly and significantly impacts your water, it's fair to say cyanuric acid still has an indirect influence over the rest of your pool, especially in terms of your overall water quality. What causes CYA to change? Cyanuric acid doesn't tend to fluctuate much and is relatively easy to manage, but it's not entirely immune to change. It sounds silly, but the biggest cause of rising cyanuric acid in a pool is simply adding more of it to the water. Many pool owners introduce stabilizer to their water without realizing it, especially since most granular and tablet forms of chlorine contain more cyanuric acid than they do chlorine. They may even be using products that aren't clearly labeled as CYA, such as pool stabilizers or conditioners. 
cyanuric acid also doesn't evaporate along with your water, so it gets left behind and becomes more concentrated over time. On the other hand, it's notoriously difficult to lower cyanuric acid in a pool, so it's unlikely you'll be caught off guard by a low reading. It does degrade, since bacteria and even chlorine will break it down over time, but this only results in an average loss of around 3% per month. Finally, it goes without saying, but topping up your pool with fresh water will dilute and lower your cyanuric acid level, as will rainwater. How do you test cyanuric acid? Most pool testing kits allow you to test your cyanuric acid level, along with pH, alkalinity, calcium hardness, and free chlorine. Pool test strips are among the most common. They can be dunked directly into your water before comparing the coloured strips to the chart provided. One of those coloured strips will represent your CYA level. Liquid drop kits require a sample from your pool before adding a reagent to colour the water. While this is slower and more involved, it's considerably more accurate than using strips. However, cyanuric acid can also be measured using the black dot test, which is even more precise. Some liquid test kits will include the black dot test as standard, but you may need to buy it separately. How do you adjust your cyanuric acid? If your CYA level is too low, you can raise it by simply adding stabilised chlorine to the water. Any chlorine labelled as trichlor or dichlor is stabilised. If you're using tablets, these are placed in a feeder or floater and left to dissolve, while granular chlorine is usually pre-dissolved in a bucket of water. You can also use straight cyanuric acid, usually labelled as pool stabiliser or conditioner. This is usually dissolved in a bucket before being added to the pool though some pool owners prefer to slow dissolve using the sock method. This involves filling a sock with cyanuric acid granules and hanging it in front of a return jet. You can also find liquid cyanuric acid at a slightly higher cost, but it may be worth paying a premium for the convenience of being able to pour it directly into your water. Unfortunately, if your CYA level is too high, lowering it isn't nearly as easy. As mentioned earlier, cyanuric acid is very stubborn because it degrades very slowly and doesn't evaporate with water. For that reason, waiting it out just isn't a viable way to reduce your stabiliser level. While cyanuric acid reducers such as bioactive or natural chemistry claim to lower CYA without draining your pool, these products have been met with very mixed reviews. In the end, the only reliable way to lower your cyanuric acid level is to drain some of your water and replace it with fresh, unstabilised water, which can be both expensive and time-consuming. How do you maintain your cyanuric acid level? You won't see much movement in your CYA level unless you're directly adding more stabiliser to your water or simply draining and refilling your pool. With that being said, Always check what you're putting in your pool, whether it be chlorine that contains cyanuric acid or pool products that promise ambiguous benefits. If your stabiliser level is already balanced, consider switching to unstabilised chlorine, such as sodium hypochlorite, often just called liquid chlorine, as this will prevent an unnecessary increase in cyanuric acid. Finally, limiting water loss and dilution will help to keep your cyanuric acid stable. That means preventing splash-out and excessive backwashing, as well as remembering to cover the pool when you're expecting heavy rainfall. So there you have it, a complete overview and beginner's guide to cyanuric acid in your pool. Check the description below for links to our full companion article, along with supporting articles for many of the points discussed in the video. We also have a free downloadable and printable checklist to help with your pool maintenance schedule. You can get it for free at poolonomics.com checklist. That's all from us. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for all things pool care.